Hey guys, my name is Micah, and as you guys know, I am, well, my first six uploads, um, yeah, I, I recorded the first six days of my game, and that was super fun and everything. The seventh day I recorded, and I went to edit, I checked out my stuff, and I realized that the commentary was screwy, and it wasn't there, so I decided to record another hour, it was like, midnight and I'm like oh you know what let's just do it again because I wanted to get you guys content it was the seventh day um so yeah um so I did it again then still no audio so I was checking out the settings and everything and I realized that my mic was broken like it didn't work I called my buddy up um, to ask him what was going on he's like I can't hear you and I'm like oh damn and my mic was broke um so I got really discouraged, and the next week, I took a break from RuneScape. I went on 07 on the same account, finally XP. I was creating a Zerker. Um, I didn't really get too much too far into that. I played about a week. I was doing other stuff on my main also, Dramatics um, on 07, because he's pretty high up there on 07. Not really high up there, but he's decent, like a, me a me medium account. Um, so... I came back, um, oh wait, no, yeah, so, first week I played Minecraft, the second week I went on 07, the third week I came back and it was a promotional week for the Squeal of Fortune, the, um, it was for, it was for, um, the Slayer Masks, so what I did was I went from 13 quest points to 145 quest points, and I'll show you my quests right now, um, I didn't, I'm not that far off of, I'm like 149, so I've only done a couple. I have Adamant Gloves. These are all the quests I've done if you want to pause and check them out. Um, there they are. Elemental Workshop 3 was a pain. Um, I didn't use quest guides until Elemental Workshop 3 because that was annoying as hell. Um, now I use quest guides just to speed everything up. But yeah, that is what I've done. Um, this is what I need to do. Um... So yeah, I'm going to be working on that soon. I still need to bring home the bacon. That's a new quest. I heard it's hilarious. Um, so I'm going to be doing that really, really soon. Um, probably actually later today. Um, yeah. Um, a lot of stuff has actually happened on my account. That's why I decided to record again. Um, I'm going to just finish up my farm run which is what I'm doing now as you can see my stats there I have 1204 total which is actually pretty impressive compared to what it was last my account is about 40 something days old so I guess that's not that impressive even for MCFS a lot of people end up having about 800 by the end of week one but I got about I hit 1200 this morning um, doing some herb lore I need to get one more level um, my current goal is to get Barrow's Gloves on the Recipe for Disaster, and to do that, I need to do this, but to do that, I need 70 cooking, which is a pain. Um, 48 agility is also a little bit annoying, but I could do that. It's not that hard. It's probably like an hour or two agility training. It's really not bad at all. Um, and then to do the other one, it I need to do Legends Quest, which is basically my current school. Um... I have, I did Hero's Quest two days ago with John Thorian, also known as Pure Thorian, but he changed it his name to John Thorian with a zero right there. Um, um, we're about to do Duo Slayer, by the way, but anyways, uh, I still need to do Fremnic Isles, but going back to um, Legends Quest, um, I want to see the requirements because I keep forgetting what they are, and I need, I really should be working on that main mainly but yeah okay so uh 45 herb lore i'm level 30, 44 so i'm pretty close to that i'm level 49 strength so i only have one more level to go there i think i'm 51 mining so i only have one level to go there also um for thieving i'm like 43 or 44 um and i will get that up really soon i'll probably go to master farmer till 45 and then pyramid plunder to 50 or something like that um I just want to do a little master farmer so I get some seeds, but uh, I might do that all the way to 50. That might take a little time, though. Um, and then agility, I have to get 48 for the 
um, monkey thing anyway, so I might as well just go for 50 when I train agility up. And other than that, that's it. I have done all the quests except Family Quest, Shiloh Village, and Underground Pass. Uh, Shiloh Village I can do, and I'm going to do that immediately, probably after I do some Duo Slayer. Um, Underground Pass quest I've never done before. I've heard it's very difficult, or not difficult, but long, and you need a lot of temps or whatever to do something. So I'm not really looking forward to that, but whatever. Um, and for Family Crest, um, I remember doing it a while back. It's not that hard. I wonder if I can do it. Let's see. Family Crest quest. No, I cannot. Um, let's see, what do I need for that? Uh, also I'm working on Fairy Tale Part 2. I need 50 farming for that. That's why I'm getting my farming up. Uh, Family Crest, I need 59 magic. Um, I'm actually one magic level off 59. I'll probably get that really soon. Um, it, here, I'm gonna tell him to get ring. Okay, um, I'm just gonna get my Slayer gem so I can gem. Um, here we go, um, uh, now I'm gonna finish up my farm run, and then that will be that, um, every day, by the way, if you are MCFS, I really suggest that every day you do get the pineapples and seaweed, this, uh, from Archine and Catherby, um, the seaweed you can use to make soda ash, and then you mix with a bucket of sand that you can just get really easily you use like a bucket on the sand pit and you nil or something like that um you put that together on a furnace and you get um soda ash i mean freaking uh molten glass which is very helpful and um even if it's like it's good it's good crafting experience and you get uh adc we daily so that's good um yeah no another tip for from scratchers is um tool leprechauns uh you can teleport them you do vine sweeper uh, it's a mini game. It's basically like Minesweeper. If you've if you've ever played that before, um, basically what you do is you try and find mines. Um, in Minesweeper, you try and find seeds. So, yeah, yeah. You basically look for seeds, and you get points, and you can use that to buy seeds and stuff. Um, um, you can points are fairly quick. You can get about a thousand points in ten fifteen minutes. Um. Terramin, Guam, and Marental Seeds are 10 points each, so you can get a ton of them. I got about 40 Marental and 40 Terramin in probably about 15 minutes of the game, maybe 20 minutes at the most, but I still had stuff left over. You can also get acorns, which are basically oak trees, for 100 coins each, which is awesome. That's 500 farming experience, and when you get higher up, like me, I'm getting up there. Um, it's not that much, 500 is really nothing, but if, all you have to do is play the game for about 10 minutes maybe, and you will have 2,500 farming experience, so, um, after you plant and pay for the, which, you guys know how trees work. Um, if not, I will just post in the comments and I will, I'll elaborate a little more on that in another video, but it's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know how to do it, you could always look it up yourself, um. I've been getting some seeds from drops. Last night I did a duo slayer with um uh with Alan or um Insurrection. Uh he was he's been a long term friend of mine, one of my longest friends. Um back when I created dramatics and started recording, he was actually kind of my inspiration. Um I don't think he was my inspiration to start, but he, he definitely kept me inspired to continue uh, making videos he kept me motivated and everything and I really did he's a really nice guy um he's been having um white screen troubles so it was a little bit hard he had to reset his modem and we only got to do one task it was like 180 uh trolls or something like that oh no my my herbs um but I did but we did manage to do one troll task and I did get quite a bit of seeds from it um, I even got a granite shield, which was awesome. Um, I kind of wanted to get a, a rune warhammer, which is also a rare drop from the trolls, but yeah, I just thought that would have been cool. Um, okay, so 
Um, hmm, I don't even know what else to say. Um, when I was trying to get the masks for, uh, for from the promotional week, um, I did get all ten. I'm not sure if I said that or not. It's because I did all those quests. I did like seventy quests and got 140 quest points or something like that. Um, but I also got two very rares. I got um, a huge XP lamp and a huge crafting XP lamp, which kind of sucks because if I got a, a super rare, I could have gotten like 200 mil or something, which would have been amazing. But I didn't, of course. Um, I think 200 mil on MCFS, I'd get a lot of hate from everyone else um, compared to like, oh, nice go, and everyone would be like, oh, yeah, you just got a bunch of money. No skill in that. But I did end up converting those to coins and I got a mil from them I got 500k from each which was nice um, um so right oh that's the end of my farm run that went pretty quick um 1.8k one more farm run and I'll have level 47 but anyways um I'll show you my bank right now I showed you my quest as you can see my skills here um for 49 per I'm not sure if I this was recorded or not but I did the Nexus and all my D bones and big bones and everything I've used on the Ecto Fungus I have almost 200 Ecto tokens which really isn't that much but it's pretty cool I've never really actually did done the Ecto Fungus before I've done it a little bit I've probably never done more than 10 bones though so um, that is cool um, here is my bank um, for a uh, max from such scratch clan event we went to Dagonoth Kings and I barely did any damage um I actually was basically leeching I didn't get any drops really um and after the clan events I didn't get anything because I actually died twice so I was basically going along for fun but after the clan event a guy called Let's MCFS who's really amazing uh, he's a really cool person he um took me there again and he showed me a safe spot so I could solo kill them um, and we actually duo killed him for a while, and I eventually got a dragon hatchet because I could pull my weight when it was just the two of us, but before when it was the whole clan, everyone else who was like level 180 or something just would all one hit it at the same time. But I eventually got a dragon hatchet. It was a very lucky drop. It was like my temp kill or something, but God, it was very nice. I also got an adamant hatchet that which is in my tool belt right now. And I'll put this in once I have 61 woodcut. Um. I also got rock shell legs, which is cool. They take place for my rune plate legs. Um, I bought a rune plate body from here, so I guess my I'm not going to be following that rule, but that's not a mandatory rule, so I'm all good. Um, you can see all my herbs and stuff, all whatnot. If you have any questions about any items, um, just ask, and I will. Um, why isn't he getting a task? Get a task. Um... Yeah, I don't have a task yet, so, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, if I type in Ceridomen, that's who I teamed up with. I got the Warpiest Gauntlets and the Boots. Um, I think, actually, the next stuff has come out, so I will tr get that next, probably. Um, 91 kilowatts. So, I'm gonna go do this Duo Slayer now, and that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, um, subscribe and you'll see more content if you didn't give it a dislike if you really felt that way and i will and post the comments why and i'll change that for the next one but um i want to say like shout out to pregs mcfs he told me he liked my vids and he's like he just reminded me it's like oh yeah i have to do that again and right there if you go to the beginning of the video you can, you can tell that this is the beginning of this chat he said that and it's like you know what boom i'm gonna start again because that's very sweet i've never like no one has done that to me yet um no one's come up to me and said that i make good vids i didn't really i don't really think of myself as that but yeah that was that's very nice thank you man big shout out to him um yeah I think that's it. I also got a white staying bow, which is Squeal of Fortune. It can upgrade to level 60, and I freaking love it. It's, like, amazing. Um, and, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.